creating a decision engine or a decision tree um, is something I've had a lot of people ask me how to do. Um, it's it's quite easy using Drupal web form module, but it's kind of like, uh, like who wants to be a millionaire? It's easy when you know the answer. Um, the kind of thing we're talking about is, you know, when a client or a user uh, clicks on, on a form and gets an option such as I am a, and they can choose what they are, and I want to do, and they choose another option, and I want to do something else, and they choose another option. And depending on all the different options that they've chosen, uh, we give them a, a, a list of pages they might want to read on our website or tasks they might want to to complete. So for an example here, I've, I've done something, look, it's a very basic, simple one called find the perfect playlist. So if you say something like, what era are you interested in? Well, I'm interested in music from, we'll say the 1990s. And what kind of music do I like? Do I like rock, pop or singer songwriters? I like rock music. And do I prefer metal or do I prefer grunge music? Well, let's say I prefer grunge. And then I will submit this form. And because of that, because I like 1990s rock music with a grunge style, we think you'd like to listen to Nirvana. And that gives a link to Nirvana on Spotify. Um, you can see then that different options get presented depending on what you choose, um, on, on what, what, what your, your choice is um, here. So if you choose, say, 1980s and you choose rock, you'll be asked then, do you prefer metal or grunge? But if you choose pop, you'll be choosing you like artists or pop stars or if you choose singer songwriter do you like people who focus on their lyrics or people who focus on their music so this is kind of what we mean by the decision tree that depending on what you choose in one question that's that shows up different um different other questions and then gives you different answers at the at the end so here for example we're choosing 1990s rock and metal and because we've chosen 1990s rock with a hint of metal uh, this, we're suggested that we would like Rage Against the Machine. So that's it fairly simply, let's say, in terms of how it works. How do we actually build one of these? Well, we're going to use Drupal Web Form. I'm not going to build out the whole form here because it, it takes a bit of time. It's, it's a little bit repetitive, but we, we, we'll, we'll show kind of the, the basics of it. So first off, well, I've, I've got a form here called Find the Perfect Playlist. So the first thing you need to do is add the sorry uh, build add the actual questions that we we want so we've a question what era are you interested in what kind of music do you like do you prefer metal or grunge do you prefer uh, lyrics or music do you prefer artists or pop stars and then you get to see which one of these depending on what you choose up here so to do that we need to let's click on web forms and add a new form and this one can be we'll go with I don't know films for example um uh, find the right film for you. Okay, we'll save that. Now we need to add an element to this form. The element we're going to add is a radio button. So we'll say radios and um, we'll say what type of film do you like? And here we're going to choose that I like or, or romantic comedy or um, I don't know, I can't think of another, <laughs> another option so we'll, we'll go with just two um, so that's fine and then we'll say um, so we'll choose more radios here and we're going to say um, and as another question, do you like uh, male or female leads and the options here are going to be male and female um, and then there could be another question again we'll stick in more radios um, and this could be something along the lines of do you like films films from the 80s or 90s and here we'll choose 80s Oops. and here we'll choose 90s okay so we'll see that's all the questions that we need to add there's only three of them so the first question we're going to say is do you like films from the 80s or 90s after that we're going to choose what type of film do you like and then we're going to choose male or female um leads <coughs> um 
So n- none of none of these responses actually we were question will, will depend on the response of a previous one. Let's have a look at what this form looks like currently. So this form is a uh, find the right film for you, and we've just got these uh, these three questions. So what we want to say then is that on the uh, second question, so the first question we'll say is okay just for now. On the second question, what type of film do you like? This is going to be con- have a condition, and the condition is that this will be visible if all of the things down here are true. So we can choose all of them, any of them, or just one of them is true. If all of these are true, and what we'd say is, um, do you like films from the eighties or nineties? Now, this took me a while to figure out. I couldn't figure out where, what I do next until I realized this scrolls across here, and this is where the options are. So let's just make this wider. So now this question will be visible if all of the things below this are true. Do you like films from the 80s or 90s if this is um, filled? So I don't care what the answer is, but as long as there's some answer in this, then we uh, then we show the second question. And do you like male or female leads? We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to put in a condition that says that this will also be visible if all of the elements are true. Um, and we'll say what type of film do you like? If that is filled, and I'll save that. Let's have a look at what the form looks like now. Oh, we didn't save it, hang on. Uh, save. Okay, that's not working. Um, what type of thing do you like? Give it a condition. Okay, not filled. I think maybe checked is what we need instead of not filled. Instead of filled. Um, and the condition for this one. Okay, so now we only see the first question. And after you answer something here, so if, after you choose 80s or 90s, we see the second question. And after you choose horror, we see the third question. So you can choose mail. Now, that's just a standard web form at the moment. We click submit here. We just get our our, our usual um, uh, thank you message. Thank you, your form has been submitted. But what we want over here is, depending on what answers you've given um, in the form, that this message here changes. So to do that, we, we can look at the uh, conditionals that we used for when we show these, and we're going to do something similar, except we do that at the settings page here. And then we click on the emails and handlers. So usually we use emails and handlers for uh, sending emails to people after the form gets submitted. So the form gets submitted, we send a copy of that form to the person who sent the form. And we send a copy of the form to uh, you, to our editors or, 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 or whoever. But the handler section is what handles the confirmation page settings. So if we add a handler here and we say that we want a handler that will change the settings of this form and we're going to call this one here um, someone who likes 80s horror male. So if you've chosen 80s and you've chosen horror film and you've chosen male lead, that's what this answer is, is going to give. So we can type in here, <clears throat> you like 80s horror Films with, ma- with a male lead. So I think you will like, uh, I don't know, like Mary Ellen Street. Yeah, okay, now if we save this and save these handlers, nothing is going to happen yet. So we're going to choose 80s, horror, and mail, either nothing will happen or else we, yeah, so we, we, we get this answer, I think, for every single result. So again, if we put in 90s romantic comedy, female, we get the same answer. So what we need to do then is, on this confirmation tab here, click edit, and the conditionals, and we move this across to here. So we're gonna say that this is enabled, if all of the items on the bottom are true. So 
do you like films from the 80s or 90s? If this has a value, and that value is 80s, and what type of films do you like? If this has a value, and the value is horror, and do you like male or female leads? And that has a value, and the value is male. If all of that is true, so we're choosing all here, if all of this is true, then we get that conditional um, confirmation. So we'll come back to the form. And again, we're going to choose 90s, romantic comedy, female. So we should get our standard message here. Thank you, your form has been submitted. And back to the form. And this time we're going to choose 80s, horror, male, and submit it. And we get Nightmare on Elm Street. And we have to make one of these conditionals for every option we have. And you can see this where this gets a little bit tedious that if you've got um, three questions and each question is two options, that's 12 different responses. But if you add in one more question, you know, exponentially that gets bigger. If you add in more options per question, that's a lot more that you're going to have to start putting together. So these decision tree kind of um, uh, forms, I think we would be making not very often and maybe not updating for, for, very often. So we, we'll add in a, a second uh, handler here. I'm not going to go through the whole uh, every option on, on this. So we'll just do some of them. So we'll call this one here um, uh, 90s horror uh, female. And because you like 90s horror films with a female lead, you should check out the others. Um, so when we've, this is the message we want to see, and then we put in our conditionals, conditions up here. So we're going to say that this will be enabled if all of the following is met. So do you like films from the 80s or 90s? The value is the 90s. Do you like, what type of film do you like? You like horror films? And do you like a male or female lead if that value is female? I'm going to save this and save the handlers. Okay, so now we should see if we come back here. And the only thing we're going to change now is going to be 90s horror with a female lead and submit this. And we then get the others. Whereas if we had chosen 80s horror with a male lead we get nightmare on elm street and that's what you keep doing then for each of the different uh, potential uh, responses so it, here I'm, I'm giving just a, a simple piece of text you could have this as a a view with a contextual filter or something that would filter out then you know a taxonomy term that equates to um each of the options that are in the in the uh in the decision uh, tree um so that's it. That's how you create decision trees or um, decision engines. I'm not sure exactly what the what the name of this feature is. That's how you create those using the web form module.